the mayoress and Daisy were on their way to a special occasion. Um, is it someone's birthday? asked Daisy. The mayoress said it wasn't. Um, is somebody getting married? The mayoress said it wasn't that either. And just as she was about to tell Daisy what it was, her car started making a funny noise. At the tractor factory, everyone was busy cleaning and polishing. Even Oswald, the robot, had been scrubbed and oiled. Dick and Doug knew it was a special occasion, but they couldn't remember why. It's not someone's birthday, is it? asked Dig. They all said it wasn't. Is someone getting married? asked Doug. No, it wasn't that either. Suddenly, Mr Packet arrived with a very important announcement. <coughs> Could I have your attention, please? This is a very important announcement. Today is the day when we finish making our 100th tractor, he said. And what's more, Mr. Packet continued, the mayoress is coming to help us celebrate. Everyone was delighted, especially Oswald, who hurried off to start painting the 100th tractor. Suddenly, the telephone rang. Ah, that'll be for me, most likely. Doug speaking. How can I be of assistance? No, he said, looking very serious. When? Where? Right. We'll be right there. Everyone waited for Doug to tell them what had happened. But all he said was, Whatever happens, don't panic. Come on, Dig. We haven't much time. What's it all about, Doug? The mayoress has broken down, he said. Dig thought for a minute. We've never mended a mayoress before, he said. Have we got the right tools? Her car's broken down, silly, said Doug. And if we don't fix it and get her to the factory, there'll be no party. Right, said Dick. Let's get a move on. It's the kingpin flanges on the drive shaft. Don't worry, said Daisy. Dig and Uncle Doug will arrive soon and have it fixed in no time. Hello, Mayoress. We are here. Oh, thank goodness, she said. The kingpin flanges on the drive shaft have gone. Hi, Dig. Hi, Uncle Doug. I knew you wouldn't let us down. And when she had explained how it all began with them driving along, and hearing a funny noise, and how the mayoress had thought she knew what was wrong, and almost got stuck in the engine, Dig and Doug came up with a plan. But I'm sure that's what it is, said the mayoress. The kingpin flanges on the drive shaft have gone. Now don't you worry, mayoress. Whatever it is, we'll fix it. Come along, Dig. Let's get started. So they did. Rocker cover. Rocker cover. Gasket. Gasket. Thing of me bolts. Thing of me bolts. What do you call it? What do you call it? Hold you my flip. Hold you my flip. Before long. The whole engine was out on the road. What do you reckon it is then, Doug? Said Dig. It's just as I thought, Dig, said Doug. The kingpin flanges on the drive shaft have gone. And what are you going to do about that, Mr. Doug? Take you there in the truck, Mayoress. 
Hop in. You can sit in the front with me if you like. Daisy and Dig sat in the back and held on tight. On the way, Doug decided to cheer the mares up with some of the exciting adventures that he and Dig had been on. Like the time when Mrs. Stubble took the tractor for a ride. Or when Farmer Stubble appeared in a pile of turnips. Or the time when Dig and Doug found themselves on top of a building. And how Doug rescued Dig from the cement. How dangerous it was being night watchman. And how sad it was when their caravan got squashed. And the time they got carried away in the factory. And how Oswald the robot had stopped working. The mayoress so enjoyed hearing the stories, she forgot all about her broken down car. And suddenly, found herself at the factory. Hello, Mr. Packet. We're here. Mr. Packet was delighted. And so was everyone else. Hello, Maris. They cheered back. But then Oswald appeared and was very upset about something. Oh, no, said Mr. Packet suddenly. Oswald says he's run out of paint. Luckily, Dig, Doug and Daisy knew just what to do. You look after the mayoress and leave this to us, Mr. Packet. Come along, Oswald. And while Dick went out to get some paint from the truck, Doug and Daisy took Oswald inside. The 100th tractor was behind the screen. Sharp along, just giving it one last lick of paint, said Doug as everyone waited for the big moment. Any minute now, we're almost there, said Dig. And just when they thought it would never happen... Everybody ready, shouted Daisy. It was magnificent. No one had ever seen a spotted tractor before. <laughs> or a spotted robot. I declare this to be the best one hundred tractor in the world, said the mayoress. And it's all thanks to Dig, Doug and Daisy, said Mr. Packet, getting out his camera. Come along, stand beside the tractor, you three. Smile, please, he said. So they did. <laughs> 